Hello makers and welcome back to Making with Ms. Dobras. All right, today we are going to make fitness dice. And I'm really excited about this project because it's a project that's in collaboration with your PE teacher, Miss Rosie. So Miss Rosie asked me if we could make some fitness dice in making class and use them in PE class. And I thought it was a great connection because we were just learning how to draw 3D cubes and our next lessons are coming up or we're going to build 3D shapes and 3D cubes is one of them. So for this lesson, you're going to make two cubes, fitness dice is what we're calling them, or fitness cubes, and you're going to decorate them. And then you're going to put the names of different exercises on each side. And when you roll the dice together, then you have to do those exercises. And even though I teach art, I'm a big fan of fitness. And uh, you might not know this about me, but I coach soccer. I coach two girls soccer teams and I have coached girls soccer for over 13 years. And here is a fun fact for all you soccer fans and mathematicians. And you're all mathematicians. All right, the base geometric shape of a soccer ball is the icosahedron which is a shape that we study in my class. An icosahedron is a 20-sided shape. It's made up of 20 triangles, 20 equilateral triangles. And obviously this is a boxier shape than the ball, but this is the base geometric shape of a soccer ball. This is a spherical analog of a truncated icosahedron. I know, that's a lot of words, but it's pretty cool stuff. Okay, well here's another fun fact, is a soccer ball is full of geometric shapes. A soccer ball is made up of 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons. So let's find a hexagon. Here's a hexagon right here. It's a six-sided shape, hex means six, and that's a hexagon. And there's 20 of those hexagons on a ball. And right here, this is a pentagon. And that's a five-sided shape. And there's 12 pentagons that help make up a soccer ball. So. I love it. I love it. Math is all around us. And if you just open your eyes to it, you will see it everywhere. So if you're a fan of soccer, you're definitely a fan of icosahedron. And I wanted to share this with you because I absolutely love when making and art and math and science and life come together. And it's all coming together on this project when we make some fitness cubes. All right. So let's get to it. But today we're working on cubes. Another way to call a cube is a hexahedron, which means it's a six-sided shape made up of six squares. All right, so we're gonna make two hexahedrons or two cubes or two dice, and we're gonna make our fitness dice. Let's get to it. All right, makers, so last week I went into Lighthouse and I put together some art and making bags for you to pick up. And so these were available to pick up last Friday between three and six. And if you didn't get one last Friday, try to get one this week. Okay, and in here are two templates that we need to fold our fitness dice or our fitness cubes. And then there's some other stuff in here. There's some popsicle sticks and there's some Elmer's glue and there's some straws for your marble maze or other stuff. And there's some popsicle sticks so that we can start to make some, build some geometric shapes. And this is probably what I'm most excited about. There's some yarn. Everyone got four different colors of yarn. And we're going to start some fiber arts and some weaving projects. So I hope you can get to Lighthouse so that you can pick up all those materials because I really want you to have them. I do want to say this. I just want to give a shout out to a thank you for people helping put these together. When I was at Lighthouse putting about 165 of these bags together, um, I had some helpers. So thank you to Miss Nana and Miss Patty and Mr. Rivers and Miss Claudia and Claudia, Isak's mom. Everybody was helping. And I just, it reminded me that there's so many people out there that love you and that are thinking about you every day. And so just think, there's a little bag of love for you. Uh, people that are thinking about you and want to get art supplies to you. So I just want to say thank you to all them for helping. What you need for today is two of these cube templates. Now if you don't have these, you can print them off the internet for a cube. You can just put in cube template or you can even draw this out and uh, fold it. So there's all different ways. These are, And these are on cardstock which is heavier paper and we're going to use these today for the project. 
Okay, first things first, you should have two of these templates and they're a template for making a queue. And they are on cardstock, which is a little bit heavier paper, but you can make them out of regular paper too. And then we're just gonna cut it out. So we wanna cut around the whole shape. So we don't wanna cut on these dotted lines. The dotted lines are actually where we fold it. So we wanna cut this big shape out until you have to be kind of careful. If you mess up, it's okay. You can either tape, you can tape your stuff back together. You see how I'm getting those teeny little spots right there? You have to be really careful. And you'll probably mess up and that's okay. But just go slow, all right? So here, this is what I mean when I say cut out the template. We're not going to cut on those dotted lines. Those dotted lines are where we're going to fold. So here we have it. Okay, I'm going to clean up my workspace and then we're going to fold it. Okay, so first things first. I think it's a lot easier to decorate this before you build it into a cube. So I'm going to get out my colors and I'm going to color it. Now, since I don't want to color down here, I'm going to get a piece of paper. It doesn't matter, just a piece of blank paper. And I'm going to put it underneath this so that I don't make a big mess. Okay? I think I'm going to go with some rainbow colors today. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yeah, there's six colors. That's perfect. Okay, here we have our template, and we are going to need to fold all these lines, including the lines on the little tabs, the little white tabs. So, to fold, you just have to go slow. You have to find that line, and you fold it over, and you open it up, and you fold the next one over. The most important thing is to go slow, and just try to do your best folds. You might have to refold some and you want to fold them right on those dotted lines and then you open them up and you do the other side so anywhere there's a dotted line you need to fold and you have to kind of bend the paper to where you want it to go and then you take these little white tabs on the side and you have to fold those too and Those are gonna be on the inside of the cube. Okay, so now we have it, and now we can put it together. And so you can probably already see how it's gonna go. We're gonna fold it together, and we're gonna to have to use either tape or glue stick, okay? Glue stick, you're gonna have to hold it together a little bit longer. I'm gonna use tape right now. Remember, if you're using tape, you just need a teeny little bit, okay? You don't need a lot. You want to stick those little tabs inside, so you don't want to see the little white tabs.
here's our cube. So now we have our cube and now we need to cut out the exercises and glue them on. All right, here we have it. We have our two fitness dice and now we get to roll them and see what comes up and then we get to do that exercise. So it's a way to combine making and PE and a way to make PE fun. So you get to roll this and do all the exercises on it. So I hope you have a lot of fun with these. Enjoy it and I'll see you next time.